Good evening everybody, my name is Dr. Sai Roshmi and I'm a pediatrician and today I'm going to be talking about MISC discharge and follow-up. MISC is multi-system inflammatory syndrome which is seen in children around 4 to 8 weeks post-COVID and the discharge criteria is the fever should not be present for more than 48 hours, the child should not be on any kind of antipyretic, there should be a clinical improvement that is seen in the child and there should also be laboratory improvement. Now, the long-term follow-up. The long-term follow-up consists of giving aspirin, steroids, uh, regular OP consultations, consultations near the cardiologist and rheumatology. Talking about aspirin, aspirin should be continued for around 6 to 8 weeks after which the child should be again referred to the cardiologist. Uh, steroids should be tapered over 2 to 3 weeks span. The usual standard tapering uh, Dosage is 2 mg per kg per day BD for 5 days initially, followed by 1 mg per kg per day BD for 5 days, followed by 0.5 mg per kg per day uh, OD for 5 days. So this is over a span of 15 days. Now talking about the uh, referrals and uh, that is the cardiology referral and the rheumatology referral. Cardiology referral should be pre preferably done after two weeks and rheumatology referral also should be done preferably after two weeks. The rheumatology referral should be accompanied with uh, doing CBP, CRP, D-dimers, troponin, BNP, fibrinogen levels. Talking about again revisiting the ER, so that is revisiting the emergency room. When the the, you should advise the parents about when to bring the child back into the emergency room. If there is fever of more than 48 degrees after discharge, if the child has developed the same symptoms or any new symptoms like respiratory distress and cyanosis along with this. Now talking about vaccines. Vaccines, no live vaccine should be given for around 11 months if in case IVIG has been given. In case it is a flu season, you can give a flu shot to the child.